Welcome to part 12. Um, so in the last video we uh, set up the um, epoxy controller. Also this class for the swipe gestures we are going to use. And now we can start with the actual more with the UI stuff in the with the fragments. But first for loading stuff I want to use the shimmer. Uh, skeleton from Facebook. So go to layout and create a new XML layout. It's shimmer underscore placeholder. Okay, that looks good for now. Just what we're going to do, I'll just copy it from here. Okay. Then I will show it to you. Okay. So let's do a split. And uh, now, as you can see, this is when data gets loaded. Then this will get will be shown to the user. And okay. I mean, before the data is ready, this will be shown when a few states are loading. Okay. Okay, that's good. What are we going to do next? We create the um, uh, layout fragment task and underscore task. Okay, and here we are. We'll also copy stuff. Just go back. Just go back. Fragment task. Okay, copy, paste, and that should be it. And this is what we are going to see. I mean, if, as you can see, we are here using, we are including the shimmer placeholder when stuff is not fully loaded. Otherwise, the epoxy recycler will be shown. And yeah. Here, text if something gets wrong, if no tasks are found, and a retry button. And yeah, here we have also set a um, floating action button to add a task. Okay, that looks good. So now we can go to our task fragment, I would say. So close other tabs, view, now it's here, task fragment. Here we new, need to do some annotation stuff. Uh, we also need again this experimental, experimental coroutine stuff. And uh, this is an entry for dagger. We need to say this is an Android entry point. Here stuff should get um, injected and we use our few binding fragments and this will be of, with pass of type fragment task binding. And here we put swipe refresh layout on refresh listener and so that should be good. You might remember this class we did it a few yeah a, a few parts before and I was I promised you it will be more clear when we do the actual implementation stuff in here. So Okay, let's continue here in the task fragment. Our other fragments will inherit from it. And we need a protected field. Protected val of, this will be our view model. This will be instantiated by the view models. Uh, view models, we need curly braces okay not not no curly braces just parentheses 
task view model implementation and now that should be it this will create an instance of it here so we don't need to inject it with dagger and one more protected a late init var the controller from our task epoxy controller epoxy controller private var tasks a mutable list task fetch response okay these are our three fields we are going to need uh, now we have to think about some um, protected methods so these are the methods the abstract methods that our other three fragments all task close task and open task should inherit the first one protected abstract fun in initializing the controller because the controller will need a color value initialize Lies controller. Then we need a method called view model. Then I'm just duplicating here things for. Uh, to avoid writing protect the abstract funnel with all the time navigate uh, navigation is needed here navigate to edit task and here we need a task of type task fetch response and this will navigate to task detail navigate to So detail task and yet the um, argument is here right okay now as you might remember we have here in few binding fragment uh, crate binding we are now using this and uh, now let's say create binding and now we can say the following fragment task binding okay that looks great say it's equals fragment task binding dot inflate and pass in the inflate as an argument and that should be good and as you can see this is this here one okay create binding that should be done so okay next is on view created on view created yes and we will define here some methods that will be called in here first one will be setup not sure right now set up is it i mean just set up uh swipe gestures i think setup is actually two words right so let me just google it set up no it's just yeah i don't know i just will do it like this uh swipe gestures we will create all of these in a second then we will have our initialize controller okay set up recycler view recycler view then we have our observe task life data observe task life data task life data then we ha will have observe task uh, uh, delete task life data and 
then on click on retry when something got wrong click on retry and the last thing is set up swipe refresh swipe refresh okay these are our methods we are going to use in on view created uh, but first things first before we even start implementing the setup swipe gestures we need one more util so in util what you need to do is to create a new file in util let's call it user message because this here we need a method uh, just let me just just let me just copy paste it here from here from my block from my yes this one is great and copy paste it and I can explain it to you otherwise the video gets too long task view model okay okay so basically this is just an alert dialog for the user when every time the user also when we are talking about this method here, display alert dialog. Um, the thing is, um, every time the user swipes on delete, we don't immediately want to delete the task. Maybe just he did a mistake the user and we want to offer him an option. Either to cancel what he, the deletion of the task so he can, the alert dialog goes on and he can press on cancel and the task will not be deleted otherwise when he presses on delete task then we will trigger the deletion of the task and that's done and yeah so that's basically it um when he for instance yeah when he pressed on cancel we will also lock that he wants to cancel something he canceled the deletion and we have a, here a method to wrap around toasts and yeah that's the thing otherwise we will always need to create this line and we have a generic method for this right now and this will be used so that you know that and yeah so now we can set up our swipe gestures the method i will just briefly copy it because it's a lot of code to be honest and it's a lot of code for such simple logic to apply so we can implement in here swipe gestures recycle view uh, okay and this is from our created one right here okay basically this will trigger the swipe logic as you can see it's a lot of boilerplate code to get a task a specific task and when a card uh, gets swiped left or right then we will go to the um, edit screen yeah uh, when it goes when it gets swiped to left uh, from left to right the deletion of the task gets triggered otherwise from right to left the, we will navigate to the edit screen and yeah this is just the logic to apply to it and that's basically it and yeah as you can see a lot of boilerplate codes to override for this kind of stuff and yeah next i would say uh, next i would say we should oops. Uh, can do next I mean next we can just override one method which will be the on refresh let's see on refresh when this gets triggered we just call call view model so basically when he swaps from top to bottom we call the view model and all the tasks gets triggered and yeah So, okay, 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 okay. Next, we can do the 
uh, set up recycle view, but I think otherwise the video get will get too long. I will pause right now here and we will continue in part 13 with the next implementation of task fragment. So see you in the next tutorial. Uh, Ilalika, ya shabab.